Hi everyone, welcome again to Cafetography. Today we're going to look at the Sigma 24mm 1.4 art lens. This lens is for full frame or APS-C cameras. This lens is now available for around about £700 or US dollars dollars Sigma's new art lenses have been a global hit. They offer universally sharp picture quality. They also offer a professional build quality and they do all this at a much lower price than the original camera manufacturer lenses. Sigma have now embarked upon a real challenge because a 24mm lens with an aperture as wide as 1.4 is a very difficult optic to design. On a full frame camera or on a 35mm film, a 24mm lens gives you a very wide and striking field of view. It's not so wide that your subject is pushed into the distance, but it's wide enough that the corners of your images look slightly stretched. It's a particular favourite focal length of many wedding photographers to get striking broad images. On an APS-C camera, the field of view is a bit tighter. The equivalent to about 38mm. That gives you a little more weight on your subject. It's a perfect medium wide angle focal length on APS-C cameras, which is just what a lot of people want for general purpose photography or street photography. The main selling point of this lens is extremely wide maximum aperture of f1.4. That means it gets a lot of light and you can achieve a creative out of focus background at f1.4. That makes this lens pretty versatile, not to mention fun to use. If we look at the lens's build quality, we can see that it's quite large and heavy. It feels very solid to handle. It's well put together with tight tolerances, like some of Sigma's other new lenses. The main feature on this lens is its large focus ring. It turns smoothly and precisely, and is edged with tactile rubber. This Sigma 24mm f1.4 has full-time manual focusing, so you can turn that focus ring at any time. As you can see here, the lens's autofocus motor is nice and quiet, although it's still not the fastest we've seen in use. It does, however, focus quite accurately. Let's take a look at this lens's picture quality. Firstly, on a full frame camera, a Canon 6D. Straight from f1.4, this lens is sharp indeed in the middle of its images. We can also see good levels of contrast. The corners of the images are a little softer at f1.4, but we're still seeing clear enough picture quality, with only a little chromatic aberration. Stop the lens down for a nice improvement in sharpness, and in the f4, we see excellent sharpness in the corners. So overall, we're looking at a high resolution lens on a full frame camera, with very good colours and contrast, although the aperture needs to be stopped down before the corners begin to impress. Now let's look to see how it works on an APS-C camera, an 18 megapixel Canon 60D. In the middle of the image at f1.4, the lens is very sharp indeed. We do see little colour fringing on the contrast edges, but it's nothing too disturbing. Let's look in the corners. They look a little softer, but it's still a very good image. The picture quality quickly becomes sharper as you stop down to f2 or f2.8 although a little colour fringing is still vid visible in those corners. Overall, the lens performs extremely well on an APS-C camera, making it handy for all kinds of uses. Well, let's have a look at light fall off and distortion. On a full frame camera, the lens shows just a little barrier distortion, which is far less than you'd normally find on a zoom lens. However, at f1.4 the corners of the images are really quite dark. That is normal for this kind of lens although it can be very noticeable in your pictures at f1.4. Stop the lens down to f2 and further down to f2.8 and the corners of the images brighten up quite a lot. Let's see about close-up image quality now. The lens can focus down to about 25 centimeters, which means you can get some really creative shots. At f1.4, the image quality is reasonably sharp, but if you stop down to f2 and then close-up images see a great improvement. We're going to take a look at how this lens tolerates working against bright lights. This is an important factor for a wide angle lens. It's not a perfect performance. We do see some noticeable flaring and a large bright circle appears if you get too close to the sun. With its wide maximum aperture 
this lens can get some good out of focus backgrounds. The good news is that the quality of those out of focus areas is nice and smooth. The backgrounds just tend to melt away. There's no harsh highlighting or distractions. Overall, this newest addition to Sigma's lineup turns out to be a very sharp optic indeed. It has great build quality to match. It's perhaps not the sharpest of the Sigma lenses we've seen so far, but then again, having such a wide aperture to match its wide angle makes this one of the most ambitious pieces of kit that we've ever had the pleasure to review. It's also very good value for money, as well as being an extremely practical lens to use with whatever camera body you have. We can certainly recommend it very highly indeed. If you like our reviews and would like to subscribe, please press the subscribe button now. Take care, keep clicking, and we'll see you again in our next instalment.